हमेशा खुश रहो विथिया आई एम जेविन डॉक्टर लिली त्रिवेदी एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ लेक्चर ऑन रिव्यू ऑफ लीफ एनाटमी now for anatomy of a leaf we will first take into consideration what is dicot and what is monocot now a dicot leaf is the leaf of a plant having two cotyledons there is a monocot is leaf is a leaf of a plant having a single cotyledon now if we compare between a dicot and monocot leaf now the basic structures and their comparison the stomata is guard shape and in a kidney shape in a dicot leaf and the stomata of guard cells are dumbbell shape in a monocot leaf the shape of a dicot plant leaf is broader and relatively smaller whereas the monocot leaf the leaf is slender and long shape the orientation of leaf dicot is dorsi ventral and in a monocot leaf it is iso bilateral the upper surface of a dicot leaf is dark green while the lower surface is light green in the monocot leaf there is equal distribution of the color in both the surfaces the vascular bundles in dicot leaf are large but in monocot leaf they are small and large vascular bundles are both are present now stomata arrangement in a dicot leaf is usually hypostomatic that means they are usually present on the lower surface in monocot leaf they are present on both surface and it is called as amphistomatic the intercellular spaces of dicot plant leaf are relatively large due to the presence of loosely packed mesophyll cells but in the monocot leaf they are compactly arranged so the intercellular spaces are very small the silica deposition is present in the monocot plant leaf on the epidermal wall whereas the dicot leaf lacks the stomata are randomly arranged in a dicot plant leaf whereas in a monocot they are arranged in parallel rows on both the leaf surface uniformly the bundle sheath of a dicot leaf has a single layer and is formed of colorless cells but in monocot plant leaf they are single or double layer and colored due to the presence of chloroplast now the mesophyll is differentiated in a two parts in dicot leaf the lower spongy mesophyll and the upper palisade in monocots there is no differentiation of the mesophyll cells now let's come to the venation pattern it is reticulate venation in dicots and parallel venation in monocots the hypodermis is collenchymatous in dicot leaf and scalenchymatous in monocot leaf now vascular bundles show large vascular bundles and there is no differentiation into protoxylum or metazem whereas in monocot leaf there is differentiation in the protoxylum and metazem elements now bundle sheath extension is parenchymatous in dicot leaf and scalenchymatous in monocot leaf now there is a unique feature of the presence of bulliform or motor cells which are present in the epidermis of monocot leaf and present and not present in the epidermis of dicot leaf so these are the differences basically on the structure and as for similarity both the both leaves have bundle sheath extension both have meso are differentiated into epidermis mesophyll and vascular tissue chloroplast is present in both xylem and phloem consists of protoxylem and protophloem and metazylem and metaphloem so meta and guard cells are present in both vascular bundles are conjoint and collateral now both have brown tissue and hypodermis is present in monocot now 
the monopod leaf here is a diagram showing the monopod leaf and the dicot leaf now here you see how will i have not given the label to both the diagrams how will you differentiate which one is dicot and which one is monopod leaf now when there is a differentiation into palisade and mesophyll cell the major point as you can see differentiation of palisade and spongy mesophyll cells now this is the basic difference we have seen it is present in a dicot leaf now here you can see the stoma is present on the under surface and here we have the vascular bundle so the basic difference which we are seeing is the presence is the differentiation of mesophyll cells into spongy and palisade cells now this is the structure of a monopod leaf see you can see there is no differentiation into spongy and palisade parenchyma cells and besides the monopod leaf also has skeleton chymatous cells they are present and they provide strength to the leaf so students i hope you have liked my lecture this these are the references from which i have used and i hope you have liked my lecture if you have any query or any problem please write in the comment box it will be resolved soon now this digital session was powered by 2.0 digital session of jyoti vidyapeet women's university thank you very much namaste